back of a brand new video and just like i said yesterday i was going to be bringing the setup that i used for the aston martin around kiel army now i didn't get a chance to you know fully use the setup because obviously for those who did watch the stream i got damage on the first lap which was probably my fault steamed into the corner a little bit too hard had side contact with somebody and uh yeah came off worse got hit by a couple of cars that were behind me but um in all the setup felt pretty good man it was really stable a lot better than I actually thought um you know when i was doing the qualifying when i did the qualifying setup i thought oh it feels feels a little bit stable but i was you know i was a little bit worried whether it would feel the same in the race you know but the, the car felt dead on even with the damage there was a few moments where i did get a little bit sideways but that was more just to do with like tire life and the fact that i was like sliding the tires a little bit especially when i got behind people and um, seemed to be a little bit more of a aero disturbance but the car felt good man i, I couldn't complain and even with the uh, the seven seven or eight seconds damage that I carried throughout the whole race, you know, I still managed to close up on the cars that was in front of me. Even though I, I think I dropped to last place after the crash on lap one, so um, yeah, the car felt pretty good. And I feel like most people should get along with this setup. Um, I'm gonna go through the setup and all the things I did um, step by step to sort of make the car, you know, handle the way I wanted to. Because I felt in the beginning when I was trying to make the setup, when I was trying to do the conventional things. Like it just wasn't something just wasn't clicking with the car and it was either too oversteery or it was too understeery in the mid corner. So um yeah, let's get stuck into the setup guys. It's Cryptic TNG. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you want to support your boy, make sure you jump on my Patreon or hit that blue button and join. Become a member on my YouTube channel. But let's get stuck into this. So if we go over the setup, um maybe the, the biggest thing you'll notice here is that the rear toe is on minus zero zero four which um for me it was almost as if like you know that the balancing act that i had to do with the rear toe and the actual aero balance right um now originally back in the day i remember i used to run like a really high rear right height and although it did feel nice through some corners i found that through is it turn three the back end used to get so loose and that was like there's a few corners on the track where you really have to balance the back end being i would say through turn three and then you've got is it the entry to sunset i think which is the the long right hander sometimes the back end if you just if you broke a little bit too late or if your brake bias was a little bit too far rearward the back end would just completely slide out and you end up spinning out and although through other corners it felt fine it was just that you know that constant balance and act that i didn't want to have to do so with putting the rear toe on minus you sort of get the turn in but you're able to keep the stability because your rear ride height is not as far um not as high so it doesn't sort of have that sort of pitch when you turn the car and for me this is what created the, the better balance um while still giving you quite a lot of turning because it, it it was a sort of a problem when i did put the rear ride height down before i messed with the toe I found that the car just it wasn't responsive enough you couldn't get through the middle sector as fast as you needed to and you just lose a lot of time having to get off the throttle when other cars are on full throttle and stuff like that and that, that was the that was the main thing for me um putting the putting the rear toe down helped so much man honestly it helped so much the car felt a lot lot better and uh other than that you really just want to you know make sure you run the same tc1 and tc8 on the tc2 um, of course just helps with acceleration helps keep the tires in and i had damage for you know the whole race and i was still able to keep pace with people that didn't so um yeah the car definitely you know the setup for me definitely felt nice to drive um there's a few instances where i couldn't get the car slowed down um i'm not sure whether that was because of uh, the the setup or for the simple fact that uh I just you know i had damage out you know i'm not too sure as i said i picked up damage on the on the first lap of the race man um with, with the wheel rate we kind of made it the springs a little bit stiffer at the rear that again was to aid sort of the the rotation of the car and for me like i noticed putting the front anti-roll bar really stiff and the rear anti-roll bar on just two it sort of made the car nice through these slow corners man a, a lot of the time what i noticed when i did use the aston previously around here is I got the car feeling somewhat nice but when i got to the tight corners the back end was trying to sort of step out mid corner and i'm ending up catching it so it sort of delays you getting on the throttle and with the aston it already struggles with acceleration so you really need to be able to you know throw it into the slow corners and put your foot down as early as possible because when you are racing other cars especially 
Porsche, uh, AMG, you know, McLaren. These cars that can get on the throttle so quick, it's quite hard to, you know, if you wanted to, if it was quicker than someone, it's quite hard to actually make a move on them if you just cannot get your foot down quick enough. So, um, for me personally, I made the car nice and stable into the slow corners was able to get on the throttle quick even though it was still a struggle getting past people because as i said before a lot of the other cars have really good in acceleration that is where the aston tends to struggle quite a bit obviously you always have that problem at the start of the race where you know the aston just doesn't get great starts you you literally have to you know stall the turbo make sure you press the acceleration and the brake at the same time before you know it goes to green green flag Make sure you're just balancing the accelerator and the brake. Try and build up that um, that turbo boost, and it should help you get a, a bit of a better start. But again, if you are surrounded by Porsches and AMGs, they're going to get a better start regardless. <laughs> okay, but um, other than that, we move on. Um, as I said, I'd I'd made the dampers. Well, the dampers were kind of sort of not random, but I I, I strayed a little bit away from motec for the dampers and i just went with what felt right for the car and what was you know helping me in being able to keep quite a consistent line because with me personally i don't you know i don't like to have to correct my steering too much i like sort of one um one steering input going into corners i don't like to like constantly correct my steering so i made the car feel nice for me and for my my driving style which is just very simple <laughs> okay so this is why a lot of the time my setups tend to work for people who are maybe not not as advanced at the game because i've got a very simple driving style you know it doesn't take a lot to drive one of my setups um but moving on again we go back to the aero balance i went with full wing because for me it always looks after the tires you have to remember that you you probably could run about eight wing or so but for me um Full max wing always looks after the tires better than um you know trying to eke out that little bit of straight line speed and it's not going to be a big difference between eight rear wing and, and ten so i would always go with um the max wing ride height thumb straight down at the bottom straight minimum on the front because you know you need the front end to be nice and responsive through kilami especially through the 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 middle sector where you need the car turning in perfectly man and uh, yeah, the setup was definitely nice. Um, I was pretty proud of it, man. It was for the, I think the, the track conditions started off, ACR was about, I think it was 20 Celsius track and 20 Celsius air. So it was quite low temps, but for qualifying, I believe it was about 32 or 33 um, track temps. So it was a bit hotter then. I think in quality, I probably could have got a, maybe a 40.4. Um, didn't manage to do it didn't manage to get the lap together i think i got a 40.7 but i did make quite a big mistake in the middle sector so um yeah there's definitely time in it if you are quicker than me you probably could get a low one minute 40 which i think would in in 33 track temp i think would represent a, a pretty good time um if you was to do a quality uh quality lap in sort of you know these sort of conditions i think you'd definitely be hitting 39s in the in the aston man so Guys, I hope you do enjoy the setup. I will run back through it quickly again so you guys can see. Um, I definitely think, you know, this 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 setup can do 39, especially if the conditions are right as well. Um, again, sometimes I went in between the, the brake bias uh, going forwards and backwards during the race because I found sometimes when I was behind people, the car did get a little bit light through certain corners. You'd get a bit of, sometimes a bit of... Um, oversteer but mainly it was understeer that i was suffering from when i was behind people so bear that in mind um yeah i hope you guys do enjoy the setup man it's <laughs> two setups in one week two setups in one week i hope listen i hope you guys appreciate this man listen i'm 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 grinding man listen i've got another kid on the way it's time to grind the videos bro so um let's get it. anyway guys it's cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace <laughs> Thank you